time, he got Wendy Williams fired because we were out there that whole weekend and Wendy Williams had released uh, some pictures of Puff and it appeared that a man was pulling down his pants. What actually happened was is that um, Wendy Williams, she got fired from Hot 97 because she had a picture of Puffy and she was saying on air that she was gonna reveal the picture. And what was in the picture? We were in Cancun and we were on our way to the Island of Women. For whatever reason, dude was playing with Puff. He went behind him and grabbed his trunks and pulled them down. A radio personality once upon a time, her name was Wendy Williams, and uh, she was practically burned at the stake for um, talking about such. And now it's all come full circle. You know, what's worse, you know, hip hop wearing skirts or hip hop being closeted and having a plethora of kids to prove manhood that, you know, and, and denial of something that shouldn't, you shouldn't have to deny. I mean, it's only expected that if you're pretending to be straight to the world, you should probably not have naked pictures of a man pulling your pants down, right? Well, let me be the first to tell you that Diddy doesn't seems to have given up on his life for quite some time now, as Wendy Williams has just taken her hot take on the rapper to a whole new level with her recent revelations. Talking about how hip hop and homosexuality mix, the former talk show host recently opened Pandora's box on Diddy and the blowback on the rapper is starting to get out of hand. What did Wendy reveal, you ask? Prepare to have your jaws dropped. The internet is buzzing with rumors that our beloved TV star, Wendy Williams, has a photo of two nude men circulating around. And what's got tons wagging even more is the possibility that one of these bare-skinned blokes could be none other than the notorious Diddy. Now, before you start rolling your eyes and calling this nothing but fake news, let's remember that Wendy Williams is known for being blunt and backing up her claims with hard evidence. And guess who's come forward with some juicy info to support this naked rumor? None other than Diddy's former bodyguard, Gene Deal. But wait, there's more. A musician named Jaguar Wright has also been spilling the tea on some controversies involving big names like Diddy and Alicia Keys. And while most people would keep quiet about this kind of stuff, Wright has been fearlessly calling them out. And it seems like Deal is on her side, folks. To quote him, people always sending me stuff, man. They sent me this stuff on Jaguar, right? I salute you, goddess. A lot of stuff you talking is real. According to Deal, there was an incident at a club in Philly where he saw the bad boy boss telling R&B singer Music Soulchild to take off his turban. Say what? But wait, there's more. Deal went on to refute Jaguar Wright's claims that he was paid to keep quiet, giving her a big thumbs up for speaking out. He then refocused the conversation on the current crisis at hand. Meanwhile, Wright has been unleashing some major accusations against her ex-boss, claiming that he did some sneaky things behind her back. It's time to give these allegations a serious look. In his words, baby girl, listen to me. Ain't nobody paid Big Gene off. Ain't nobody ran Big Gene off. It's not happening. Never ran and never will. Never have. From nobody or no man. Sweetheart, you're wrong about that. So, I've heard you say that twice. Somebody sent that to me twice. So I'm just letting you know, baby girl. I don't know you personally, do you understand? But I respect what you do, but you are wrong when you tell. Unless it's another bodyguard. It ain't Big Jim. You might be speaking about somebody else. You're not speaking about Big Jim. Deal attempted to defend himself against the allegations made by Wright and Williams, but his remarks only served to support their claims. He claimed that he had witnessed things while working for Diddy that had caused him to turn to religion for solace. The ex-bodyguard then brought up Mary J. Blige, who Wright had also accused of wrongdoing. Jaguar had alleged that Blige had been keeping her attraction to women hidden for years before the Diddy scandal broke, and even challenged her to a musical showdown. Despite facing criticism from Summer Walker, Wright remained undeterred and continued to go after other celebrities. On Instagram, she issued a challenge to the queen of hip-hop soul, Mary J. Blige, insisting that Blige had been concealing her true sexuality for years. Wright refused to back down, even in the face of opposition. About Mary, Jaguar said, I can produce my own songs. I can sit down with a competent Knicks engineer and walk all the way through a mix. I can do those things, Mary, can you? What can you do, Mary? Other than playing dress up and eating snatch in dark places, hoping nobody finds out. And if I'm lying, sue me, Mary. They were my applause. They had to edit in applause because when she came and performed, everybody in the MTV studio just sat there and looked at her like she was something in a zoo. Hmm. They didn't clap for Mary. They did not clap for Mary at all. And you need to get over yourself too. That's why you paying Ken do all that money. See, that's, that's, that's your motherfucking problem, bitch. Karma. You ain't nothing but a fucking hood rat who sat there and has tried to get in the way of people who were greater than you. When my album came out, she told 
the CEO of our company, that that little cross-eyed fucker, she told him, if, and this was at the MTV Unplugged Studios. She had the dressing room next to mine. She was so scared when she came in. Because see, when we had rehearsal, she went first, you know, because she the queen. I came later. She didn't hear me at rehearsal. See, she didn't hear what I was coming in to do. So when she came in to MTV Studios, we were doing the run of show and I had to perform. Jean Deal continued the discussion on Jaguar rights accusations against Diddy in another video. He delved into Diddy's purported homosexuality and repeatedly referred to him as sexually flexible. Furthermore, Deal claimed that Diddy had accompanied Exhibit to a gay bar, insinuating that it was Deal's responsibility to monitor the bad boy CEO's interactions with other men. These claims seemed to lend credibility to Wright's claims against Diddy. During the interview, Gene mentioned, I know that for a fact because I was right there. He said, Yo, Gene, watch the door and don't let nobody come through. I said, I'll watch the door, and if I watch the door, he and a man ran out naked, and I said that ain't nobody told me that. That. I saw that myself. I'm telling you what I saw. Gene has added to the already existing pile of claims against the music mogul with a jaw-dropping interview where he made some startling allegations. According to Gene, in the early 2000s seconds, when he was working for Diddy, he accompanied him to an exotic bookstore where the mogul allegedly purchased a bag of sex toys for his kids. The catch? The bag reportedly contained a bunch of butt plugs, leaving many people disturbed. Gene went on to reveal that Diddy planned to take these toys to Ja Rule's house after a concert in North Carolina. Gene tried to talk him out of it, but Diddy was persistent. The news has taken social media by storm, with people expressing shock and disbelief at these allegations. But Jean isn't the only one who has interesting tales to tell. Wendy has expressed her displeasure with the pervasive homophobia in the hip-hop community. That's what she told me, I'm not down with any of that. It wouldn't be my man. To be very clear, there were lots of homosexuals in the 1980s too. What's worse, hip-hop wearing skirts or hip-hop being closeted and having a plethora of kids to prove manhood and that, you know, and denial of something that you shouldn't have to deny. There were many situations back in the day in my career, and it's all coming full circle now. The recent discussion about Diddy's sexual inclinations brings up the inevitable query, is he into men? His sexuality has been a topic of gossip for a while, but he has also been romantically linked with prominent women like the deceased Kim Porter. These connections have resulted in several children, including Christian Combs, who is now pursuing a career in entertainment. Despite Diddy's repeated statements that he is not gay, his actions over the years have given off a different impression. In one recent music video featuring the rapper, his lyrics read, Sometimes I ask myself, like, you know, what is it going to take for me not to be afraid? To be loved the way, like, I really want to be loved. Divided by, but then I know how I really want to be loved. But I'm, but I'm, like, scared to really, really feel that, you know, it's like you want something, but you don't know if you can handle it. Maybe one day I'll get over my fears and I'll receive. Hip-hop has brought about numerous positive changes, but its prevalent homophobia has harmed American society. The genre's deeply ingrained homophobia makes it challenging for even high-profile figures like Diddy to publicly acknowledge their sexual orientation. Critics point out that anti-gay slurs are now commonplace in rap, even when enlightened rappers like J. Cole use them. However, there is hope for change in the future. Okay, that's it for now, but please hit that like button and subscribe for more updates. Goodbye.